video, I'm going to show you how to change fractions into decimals. So the first few that I've got here, you might know these already. One half is 0 0.5, one quarter is 0 0.25, three quarters is 0 0.75. You probably already know them without realizing it. But if you don't, I really would recommend that you just learn maybe these ones off by heart because they come up fairly often in maths. And this one down here is 0 0.2. But obviously, you can't remember all of these fractions in their decimal form, so I'm going to show you how to work it out using divide. So, if you're allowed to use a calculator, this is going to be very easy. All you need to do is type in 1 divided by 3, or 1 over 3 in the calculator, press equals, and then on your calculator, there should be a button that converts between a fraction and a decimal. On my calculator, it's an SD button. So if I press 1 divided by 3 equals, and then this button, it changes it to a decimal. If I press it again, it turns it back into a fraction, and so on. So if you can use a calculator, that's it. If you want to know how to do it without a calculator, remember you're dividing. So we're going to divide the number 1 by 3. So notice how the denominator goes outside the divide box and the numerator goes inside. Now I know I'm going to get a decimal answer because 1 isn't divisible by 3. So you need to put a decimal point followed by some zeros here. Okay? It's exactly the same as the number 1. I'm just rewriting it like this in order to find my decimal answer. So now let's divide. How many 3's fit into 1? Well, none. And there's a remainder of 1. So that 1 carries over to here. Don't forget to put your decimal above that decimal in your answer, okay? And now, how many threes in ten? Well, there are exactly three threes, and three threes are nine, but because we've got ten, there's one left over. So it's the same question again. How many threes in ten? Well, three again, remainder one. So these threes keep going on and on and on. So we say it's 0 0.3 recurring as a decimal. And so if you see that dot above the number, it means exactly that. It means the threes are never ending in that decimal. So there's the answer to the first one. So 1 over 3. Now, the next one. 3 divided by 8. So again, put your numerator inside the divide box and the denominator outside. Don't forget to put your decimal point followed by the zeros and then the decimal point in your answer as well. So now we can divide. How many eights in three? None. So that three gets carried over to here, so we've got 30. How many eights in 30? Well, there are three, and three times eight is 24, so we've got a remainder of six. The next question, how many eights in 60? Well, there are seven because 7 times 8 is 56, so we have a remainder of 4, okay? Notice how you really do need to know your times tables to be good at these questions. So the next one, how many 8s in 40? Well, this time it goes exactly. So it's just 5, and we've got our final answer. So there we go. There's 3 eighths as a decimal, 0 0.375. Okay, on to the last one. So we're doing 7 divided by 9. So 7 goes inside the divide box, and 9, the denominator, goes in front. Don't forget to put your decimal point followed by the zeros, and your decimal point on top as well. And now we can divide. So how many 9s fit into 7? None. So that 7 gets carried over there. How many 9s in 70? Well, 8 times 9 is 72, so that's too big, so it goes 7 times. And because 7 times 9 is 63, and we've got 70, there's a remainder of 7. Okay? Now, same question again. How many 9s in 70? Well, the same. It's still 7, with a remainder of 7. So those 7s keep going. So remember what that's called? We say it's 0 0.7 recurring. Okay, so you can stop there. So there you go, turning fractions into decimals. Try to learn a few of them off by heart, these ones here. If you've got a calculator, just locate that SD button. And if you don't have a calculator, get dividing. Okay, so you need to practice those times tables to get really good at these questions. 
So that's all from me for today and goodbye.